everyone. Well, I am happy to say that Selena, as of today, is Dunsey Wunsey. Uh, today I did the last part that needed to, uh, to have the clear coat on her, which was the driver's side door. We did have some problems with dripping, really bad dripping actually. Um, and of course, I'm starting to find that sometimes the newspaper, when it got wet with the clear coat, adhered. But uh, the streaking wasn't too bad. Um, when the uh, temperature is cooler, you have more drips. And if you, when it's hotter, you have streaking. Uh, personally, I find the drips a little easier to uh, live with because the drips are not really noticeable from far away. Whereas streaking, you can see quite a far away. So, and I was so happy. What had happened is I hadn't actually planned on um, finishing the car today. Uh, but, but it's getting hotter as spring is progressing. It is getting hotter and hotter and the humidity is rising and it's the, uh, you know, it's just becoming not very good weather to be doing a project like this outside. So, uh, I really wanted to get her done. And so I thought I would need another uh, can of clear coat, but I thought, okay, well, let's see if I can get how much I can get finished today. And as it turned out, this one can that was only two-thirds full managed to do the three coats. So she's done. So I didn't wind up having to buy any more paint or a clear coat. Um... I noticed something that was rather interesting that I hadn't noticed before. Um, when a can is full, when you spray it, it's got a wider uh, cloud, you know, wider area, wider circumference, spray circumference. And as it starts emptying, that circumference uh, min starts minimizing and becomes a lot more precise. Now the thing is, is that when that happens, um, you tend to have a lot more problems with streakings and with drips. On the other hand, when the, it's wider, you have more problems like with the clear coat, it has more glitter. Uh, and the glitter is rather annoying because it attracts the light in odd ways sometimes and, and it'll sh show up any flaws in the car. Um, so uh, I tallied up how much all this cost. Right now Selena's dirty. I didn't wind up cleaning her off so you guys can't, when she's dirty you can't always see the streaks. Of course this side wound up being the worst. Um, uh, but uh, I'm, later what I'm going, I'm planning on doing is I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take, uh, do before and after sh photos. And even with the, I know that probably there's a bunch of car hobbyists and pros that are probably wincing or, or uh, you know, or their eyes are twitching or, you know, a lot of people are looking at this and thinking, oh my God, it's awful, you know. But, um, uh, I still think compared to what she originally looked like before I started all this, I think she still looks pretty good. And the, the important thing is we did accomplish the one goal. She is protected. Um, she is, uh, she started running a little better when we started uh, filling up her holes. So that is really the, that was the important thing, um, Yes, uh, it could have been done better. That's true. Um, you know, I you know I did my best with it, uh, with my limited skill. Uh, there was a lot of mistakes made, uh, particularly there. But as far as what I was hoping to accomplish, I have done that. Selena is now protected, and um, I can live with the mistakes. But. Um, now, I tallied up how much we spent. Now, I wasn't always so good about um, saving all my receipts. This was roughly cost $400 to do. 
Now, of course, uh, what, what, you know, some people are saying, you know, well, you definitely should have let a pro do it, you know, for all that money, maybe, you know, it, it, it's, it's a disaster, blah, blah, blah. I, you know, you're all maybe possibly thinking that. Now, this is the point. The thing is, is when you get a pro to do it, you have to pay them all at front. Um, this allowed me, I didn't have $400 up at the front. I had to, you know, it was all gradual. This took, I think this was over, I forgot when I started this, but, you know, this was over quite a few months that I've been working on Selena, which allowed, which was what physically I was able to do. Because, I mean, this is tiring work, folks, really. And then, uh, but also my finances. Um, Four hundred dollars. There's a lot of people that'll tell you uh, that you can do a job, this job, for a hundred dollars. It depends on how much you want done. The cheapest quote we got when we asked the people how much it would cost to paint the car was eight hundred dollars. So I did actually save money. And w the thing is, when you ask people what that includes, you know, that this is the thing you need to know. When you ask people how much it costs to paint your car, you need to find out what that all includes. Because, like, we got an $800 quote. That was the cheapest quote we got. Uh, the, uh, the more expensive quotes, you know, it was $2,000. The uh, $800 job would not have sanded her first. It wouldn't have put on as many coats of paint as I did. It wasn't going to primer. It wasn't going to put on a clear coat. All the $800 job was going to do was take paint and put it over the car as she was at that time. Um, and that's all it was going to do. Now, what I did with this car, she got, I sanded her fully. I put Bondo on her. I gave her three coats of primer. She got, I think, at least six coats of paint. And she got three coats of clear coat. Okay, and that, and that was not going to be offered by the $800 job. Okay, so, I mean, when you think that I got all of that for $400, that's not a bad job. And an $800 job was only going to get me maybe a few coats of paint without any sanding or or priming or anything like that and I've noticed there's a lot of people they'll um, they'll do the cheaper paint jobs and then within a year or two their paint starts peeling again because you know uh, you kind of do need to sand and prime a lot of times and particularly if you're putting your car through car washes or you you wash them a lot and all that um, you know, you need a sturdier paint job. So that is the thing you have to take into consideration. Now, uh, I learned a lot from doing this. I am gradually, uh, or I am very glad I did this. And uh, I have to admit, you know, it was a little traumatizing at the end because I had felt like the painting was going so well. And at the time, I thought I was going to get her, you know, oh, she's going to look just like she came out of the showroom. And then I started working with the clear coat, and we started having a lot of problems with the clear coat. Uh, so I was a little disappointed at first. As time is going on, I'm, um, I'm you know, I'm readjusting my feelings. And I am glad I did this. And... I am basically pleased. I mean, I'm not saying that there's not parts that, I hope you guys don't mind, I'm going to kind of move to a shady area. Um, definitely, yes. Uh, it could have been done better. I made tons of mistakes. But I am glad it's done. And as I said, I am. It, what's, not, what's important is she is protected. But it was, it was an interesting experience despite all, you know, it wasn't done perfectly but it was a very interesting experience to do um, so I'm going to tell you guys some of the things I learned for one thing you will learn a lot about your car when you do a project like this uh, what we learned about Selena we had always suspected that Selena might have been in a minor car accident when we got her um, 
but apparently it might have been a lot more serious than we thought. Uh, we started thinking that maybe from some of the damage that I kind of uncovered when I was sanding her, which wasn't very, which wasn't apparent when, you know, she was brand new, um, we started suspecting that there had been parts of her that were rebuilt. Now, this did cause some concern for us. Um, you know, that wasn't, um, we weren't too pleased about that. Uh, but the fact is that we, we did find out. Um, Selena is a good little car, but she apparently does have some structural things we do have to worry about now. Um, you know, so we found, we, we learned a lot about Selena from doing the, you know, from doing this. Um, point number two, nothing is as easy as it looks on vi the video. Uh, <laughs> You know, there's a lot of car painting YouTube videos, believe me, I looked at mine too, and it looked so easy on the video, and then I did it, and it, there were, it was, it wasn't as easy as it looked, so that's one thing to always remember about any types of videos, you know, there's just something about on videos that it looks easier than it actually is. Um next point thing I learned always expect problems to arise and particularly just when you think things are going so well you know actually like in a lot of ways like viewing a car is kind of like gives you good lessons for life you know uh, Selena I would be painting one area and you know any of you that's been following this series you know one area would be going so well and I'm like oh this is great it's great and then one day the another day I I do another part, you know, and I'm doing the same thing. You wouldn't think it would be that much different. And suddenly there would be all these problems. It would streak badly or, or some, you know, something just kind of went wrong, you know, and, and, you know, it was very distressing. I, so I had a lot of ups and downs with this video, but that was one of the things I learned, you know, <laughs> expect problems, you know, don't go. And if you're going to do something like this, expect that problems are going to arise, you know. Um, another thing, different sides of the car react differently. Um, for instance, uh, this side always painted a little better, I think, than the driver's side. Now, to some degree, that might it might be because Selena was a rebuilt car. Um, that could explain it. But then again, cars may just be like people. I mean, as I've said before, I don't know if guys can totally relate to this, but you know, ladies, you know, you know how there's always one side of your hair that curls more than the other side, you know, uh, one side of your face looks better with makeup than the other side. You know, there's always things like that. One so there's always one side of your body that just doesn't seem to work as well as so the other side, you know, or look as good. And cars apparently the same way, or at least Selena was. Um, the driver's side uh, was a nightmare to do. It, it, everything always was more complicated on that side. The passenger side did a little better. 